Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvelous Contest of Champions video. Now, it is that time again. Time for me to take up another champion. This one is an interesting one, and if you think you can guess who I'm about to take up, leave a comment below. Let me know who you think I'm about to take up right now. But we're about to reveal it in five, four, three, two, one. Titania. So if you watched my 16 featured opening, you know that I pulled her from that feature. But I don't really know anything about her, okay? And so I was hearing, okay, she's pretty good. She's better than people think. And I was like, okay, sounds good, sounds good. Uh, but I hadn't watched any videos or anything like that. Then I went ahead and uh, started looking at some videos. Some people were taking her straight to rank four. I was like, whoa, she's that good? So I looked at some videos and I was impressed. Now, I took her into uh, a recent eternity of pain and I didn't have her ranked up. She was still rank one, and I still used her to finish that Eternity of Pain. Had I had her already ranked up like this, it would have gone even faster. But it is what it is. Now, one of the things that I really liked was the fact that she doesn't gain buffs. So in Alliance War, there's a node, I believe it's node 24, where people love to put some really annoying defenders, like. Omega Sentinel. And we got wrecked until we started learning how to deal with her. So in a past uh, Alliance War, I was thinking, who do I have that doesn't gain buffs? And the answer is Spider-Man 2099. So I brought him in and you know, when he's not on the boss node, which Kabam is changing, um, he isn't that tanky. He's not supposed to be that tanky, but with the true focus, he was very tanky. He got a reduction of like 75% of his health, but on node 24, not the case. So while he can work, cause you don't have to deal with that buffet or anything like that, there are other options. And like Gallon, he's immune to nullify. So that could work as well. But then I found out that she, doesn't gain any buffs. And I was like, you know what? Spider-Man 2099 gets banned all the time. The only reason that I was able to bring in Spider-Man 2099 is because he was whitelisted because he was globally banned. So first he gets banned a lot. Then the next season after that, he's on the global ban list. Then the season after that, you can use him. That's ridiculous. And so I wanted to have options and I have them now. So once they, cause they're going to do it. Um, actually they may not because Kabam is going to change the node on the boss so that he doesn't get that tankiness. Um, but that means there's even less reason for me to bring him in. So Titania is pretty tanky. So I like using her. Gallon, he has a lot of damage, but he's not, he, he didn't strike me as crazy tanky, but he is pretty tanky. So I had Gallon, Titania, and Spider-Man 2099 as options for Alliance War. So that's why I decided to take up Titania to rank three. Will I take it to rank four? I don't know. Um, but we, we'll see. Um, I don't know how to use her really. The only thing I've done with her so far is in the eternity of pain. And I basically just fought, ignored everything, got to a special three, fired that off and then spammed heavies. So I'm sure there's a lot of stuff that she can do that I don't know yet. So we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, 
Um, that's it for the rank up. And we're going to take her into uh, Realm of Legends and fight Winter Soldier. And again, the fact that she doesn't get buffs doesn't matter in this fight. But I'm curious to see, you know, just to play around with her, to see what um, damage she can do and all of that. But I don't know her rotations or anything like that. Okay, so let's see. Let's see what she can do. So I was going over her synergies and she's got some pretty interesting synergies and some interesting synergy partners. So let's go over some of these here. All right, so the first one here that I have active, she's gonna start the fight with 10 Fury passives and Fury effects gain 25% duration. Gonna last a little bit longer. And it's with She-Hulk, who is also a very good champion in her own right. So I'd bring her and Titania on a, on a team. Uh, this next one, increase the potency of Fury effects by 4% for each Synergy member present. Now, this one I'm a little bit um, not sure because I brought in Hyperion, who of course is a, is a great champion again in his own right, but do I get 4% for each of these Synergy partners or is it 4% for any Synergy partner? In other words, do I get another 4% if I put on Colossus and another one for um, Drax and, and Hulk? Or am I getting that even though I'm not using any of them, but I do have other synergy partners available? I don't know. All right. And then this one here, um, special attacks don't generate power for the opponent if Titania is alive and gain 10% attack if Captain Marvel is alive. All right, so this one, um, I put Captain Marvel because of that, um, but I could, let me see, 750 critical rating of Storm. I would most likely be bringing Storm rather than Captain Marvel, okay? And 400 crit damage if Yondu. Uh, so that's a very interesting synergy. I could see myself bringing Yondu uh, as well. And then you've got this one here, gain 20% more power from heavy attacks. And so far that I've seen, I like spamming her heavy attacks. So let's see. Let's see what, uh, what it looks like. Other than, uh, oh, and we also have um, class disadvantage. Mm. I love when she goes unstoppable and unblockable. I'll tell you that. All right. Yeah, she's getting some good damage in. Let's do the special two. All right. Okay. Hmm. Loving this, man. She does some good damage. Let's do a special one. Hmm. Okay, I want to build up to a special three now. Look at that. <laughs> I just love when she goes unblockable and unstoppable. It is so much fun. Look at this, man. He's almost half his health is gone. Now I am running suicides as well, so keep that in mind as you're looking at the damage. All right, I want to bait out one more. Okay. <laughs> Just pulls up a chair and hits him with it. Hmm. I probably messed that up, but she still did a lot of damage. All right, let me try something. All 
Okay, so her haymaker is ready. Okay, she, he stunned her, but look at that. That didn't look like it did much of anything to her. Wow. Yeah, he has a special only because he stuns her, but look at her health. Wow. Talk about tanky. Man. Yeah, I, I can already see that I'm going to like her. This is definitely why I took her up. She is tough. Let's do another one. Now, this champ, at least, uh, I don't think will stun me. So I might be able to get in some heavy spam. Whoops. She's got a long reach on that heavy. Got to time it right. Okay, come on. There we go. Ah, so sorry, guys. Yeah. Come on. Mm. Yeah. Oh, she was waiting for me. No. Mm -mm. No, sir. Mm. You see that that crit? Wow. And that crit too. Mm. If I I got to uh get used to that that haymaker and then go in. Mm. I'm waiting for it to count down. Okay, there we go. See, even that don't matter. Mm. Yeah, I like her. And I, I don't even know how to use her all that well. I'm just playing around, putzing around with her. Look at this. Good night. Mm. That's what's up, man. That is what's up. All right, guys. Uh, that is going to do it. I, I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with her. Uh, for the event quest, especially, I'll most likely bring her uh, on the um, science chapter. I'll probably bring her, um, Spider-Ham, She-Hulk, Mr. Fantastic, and who knows who else I'll bring. Uh, but anyway, that is going to do it. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit the like button. Tell me what you think about this. She's a new champ, and I'm impressed. All right. Anyway, take care, and you all have a blessed day.